Yeah, I think honestly, like the first thing is just you know sheer pride around um, being named captain. I think obviously, I've only been at the club for a short space of time in terms of last year being my first season. But even in that time, I feel like I've I've embedded and I've learned um, the culture and what it means to play for London Scottish. And I think as a club, it's so rich in history. History in terms of you know uh, internationals, players that have gone on to play in the Premiership or even been capped at Lions. So. To have the honour to be captain of, of or co-captain of London Scottish and have that sort of ebbed in history, um, feel really proud. Um, obviously, a lot of responsibility around that as well. And me and Dan are very excited about that challenge and obviously taking the club forward this season. Yeah, a really interesting one. Um, me and Dan have obviously known each other for, for quite some time, um, having worked together at Newcastle University in the leadership team there as well. And then obviously we've gone on our own paths into professional rugby and both wound up back here at London Scottish and obviously cap co-captains together again. So it'll be, it'll be good. Uh, he's a person that I rely on, that I know incredibly well. Um, his strengths are my weaknesses, my strengths are his weaknesses. So I think we'll fit very well as a pair. Um, and I think, you know, in terms of what we want to bring to, to the club this season is, you know, we're going to be driving that responsibility in terms of work rate, um, you know, dedication to the club and also driving, you know, in terms of performance side as well. Um, so, you yeah, know, really excited about that. I think firstly, obviously, um, you know, from a captain's point of view, obviously on, on the pitch and, and off the pitch leading by example um, and staying true to obviously the values we've set as a, as a club in pre-season. I think also me and Dan have been around the league for quite some time now over the last few years um, and I think there's a sort of a level of leadership and maturity there we can bring. We've got quite a young squad, we've got a very talented squad but sort of coaching and mentoring and, and saying key points here and there throughout games and in season to keep us on track uh, and make sure that we're in a better position than we were last year. I think last year was great, great building for us as a club but there are a lot of games there where we left a lot of points on the table and I think it's about how do we become more clinical, how do we become more cutthroat and take those opportunities. So that's something that I'm going to be looking to drive this year in terms of on the pitch but also vocalising that in key meetings. I think, you know, as I said, you know, great end to last season, you know, getting those, those wins at the end, consecutive wins on, and, uh, on the end of last season to keep us up which was obviously the main objective of last year was to stay in the championship. And I think it's how do we build from that? We've retained a core group of players uh, from last year, but then we've also added in some quality. And I think we've got the talent there. I think that's been evident in pre-season already. As I said, it's going to be how do we mature quickly in order to make sure we're winning those championship games when we're playing some tough opposition and they, knows, they know how to close out these sort of thick games. How are we making sure we end up on the right side? So I think for us, it's going to take, a few, take us a few weeks to get there. And I think, you know, with the Prem Cup, it's a great opportunity for us to sort of build into that in sort of like a mini pre-season. But when the season starts, I think you're going to see a, a talented squad that's only going to continue to grow off the back of last year. And hopefully we can start to push up the table towards mid-table this year.